Today, I'm going to talk about another passive income strategy, investing into stock. And I'm going to show you guys the stock that I'm looking at buying, the one on my watch list, and show you guys which indicator I look at, and also compare that to Tesla, Apple, and NNDM. And um, should we be buying this stock, Tesla, or should we be buying Apple and NNDM? It's a nano dimension. Um, I, I can't give you financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm just going to show you the indicator that I look at. And is it the value stock? So when you invest, you should invest into long term. And that's what we're going to talk about today. All right, guys, my name is Wayne. And um, don't forget to press like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to discuss more about passive income, you can join my Facebook group. I'll put Facebook group link in the description of this video. All right, let's get started. So first, I just want to show you guys this. I spent four to six months looking at stock indicators and all full details on the stock to see um, any indicator that shows is it a value stock to buy or is it a time to sell? And um, I'll show you this one here. Look at this. This is all I did for about six months. See that I put in this one here, dividends and price to book value ratio and many indicators but unfortunately there's no one indicator that shows that this stock is a value stock or this is a time to buy or sell so now i look at this one i'll show you this one here so market cap revenue earnings P ratio and um, net asset market cap versus asset net asset sorry and earnings margin revenue growth first we'll look at Tesla today it's two hundred and eighty two dollars and forty eight cents the pre market is two hundred and seventy eight dollars and if you look at Tesla See that last this year in 2023, it has gone up from hundred dollars to two hundred two hundred eighty-two dollars. So it's gone up one hundred and sixty percent. So that's what we're going to look at today, because it has gone up one hundred and sixty-one percent. And is it still time to buy? So let's look at my spreadsheet. All right, Tesla price two eighty-two, and market cap. Is 886 billion and revenue is 86 billion and earnings is 13.91 and PE ratio is 74.5. So, this one is high. Normally, we look for something around 15, that's what most people say is a good PE ratio, and um, net asset is 49 billion. So basically what I look at is this one here, earning here. So 1.5% earnings versus the market cap. And the margin is 15.17%. And average growth is, revenue growth is about 20%. We should be looking at buying the whole company when you buy stock. So would you pay 886 billion for Tesla? which is earning about 1.57%. So if you invest $100, you will earn 1.5%, 1.57%, which is $1.57 in a year. And if it's 1,000, it's $11.15.70. $10,000, you are looking at earning about $157. So is it worth investing into Tesla now? So that's what you need to look into. And the next one we're going to look at is NNDM. 
and NDM at the moment is two point nine eight dollars. And if you look at year to date, so it started off with two point three two, and now it come up to two point nine eight. And it just came up from June this this year, from last month, and then now. So again, let's look at the numbers for NNDM. So NNDM market cap is 0 0.75 billion, which is 750 million. And revenue, 0 0.043. And earning is minus 0 0.15. So they lost about 150 million last year. And the PE is minus 2.53 because because of this earning and net asset 1.15 billion which is not too bad and um, if you look at the earnings versus um, market cap it's minus 20 percent and profit margin is minus 333 percent so yes it's growing about 30 percent and they are going to start buying shares. There's a share buyback plan that's been signed, which is a good sign. But I'm not sure how it's going to go in the short term. So if it was me, I wouldn't be buying this stock at the moment. All right, next one we're going to look at is Apple. So let's look at Apple. So Apple at the moment is $191. And this year, it has gone up 52%. So from 125 now to 191. So is it still time to buy Apple since it has gone up 52.90%? So that's what we're going to look at now. So let's look at the spreadsheet again. So Apple market cap is... <coughs> Excuse me, three trillion dollars in revenue, three hundred eighty-five billion, and earnings, hundred and twenty, hundred and twelve billion, and PE thirty-two point five, which is, I think, is a bit high. It's more than fifteen, and net asset is sixty-two billion, and if you look at the ratio, market cap to net asset is two point zero five percent, and earnings. It's three point seven percent. So this earning percent is from the market cap. So if you're gonna buy the whole company, three trillion, you are making about three point seven percent in return. And margin is decent margin, thirty point two zero percent. And revenue growth is about nine percent. So which is not not a huge amount, 9%. And after looking into the details, looking at this earning, 3.7%, I put this Apple on my watch list at $110. All right, next one is UMC. UMC is United Microelectronics Corp. So this one here. So the stock price now is $7.7. And if we look at year to date, this one is up about 16%. And let's look at the spreadsheet. So UMC market cap is 19.7 billion. And revenue is 8.81 billion. And earnings 3.57 billion. And PE ratio 6.93. So this one is very low. And net asset 11.74. 1 billion and market cap to net asset ratio is 59.44 percent and um, earning versus the market cap is 18.12 percent so my target is around 15 percent so why 15 percent because when you invest into something if you buy a business you should look at earning return of about 15%. So it's very simple. If you want to just earn about 8-9%, you can go invest into S&P 500 
or any ETF. But if you're going to invest into individual stock, you should look at earning more and um, you should keep some margin of safety. And this one is growing about 20% average yearly. So there's a revenue growth. And my target is around 760. And the only thing I'm looking at is a bit worried about is share buyback. So there's, they're not buying back any shares at the moment. So your share will worth more if the company buy back the shares. All right, we'll look at the next one. Next one is Ally Finance. This one here, A-L-L-Y. And it's now at 26.89%. And year to date, if you look at it, it's about it's about 10% this year in 2023. Let's look at the spreadsheet. So this one here, market cap is 8.23 billion, revenue 9.31 billion, and earnings 1.88 billion, PE 7.71, which is a decent PE. And net asset is 13.37. So the net asset is actually more than the market cap, which is good. And um, earnings is 22.84%. And margin is 25%. So which is good, decent margin. And growth is only 8%. It's not that much. But they are buying shares back. So this is another one that I'm looking at buying. And my target price is around $27. So it's actually under the target. All right, let's look at the next one. And the next one is MU. MU is Micron Technology. It's now at $62. And let's have a look at year, year to date. So this one is up about the 23% this year. And if you look at it, it's gone up this year. So let's look at the details on this stock. This one market cap is 68 billion and revenue 27 billion and earning 7 billion and PE ratio is 45. So this one is a bit high as well. A net asset is 46 billion. So net asset is um, a quite decent net asset. And this one, market cap to net asset, 67%. And earnings, 10.25%, which is better than the other one, better than Tesla and Apple, 10.25%. And margin is 31%, which is quite decent margin. And revenue growth is 15%. And this one is also not too bad. And because of this earning 10.25%, I'm putting this target to $60. So I'm aiming for about 15%. And they're also buying back shares, so which is a good good sign. So I, I have this one on my watch list at $60. So if you look at, compare all these, if you compare all these stock, Tesla, NNDM, Apple, UMC, Ally Finance, and MU. I'm actually looking at buying these two here, UMC and Ally Finance. And if you compare the numbers, as you can see, the earnings, 1.57% for Tesla versus, look at this one, 18.12%, and Ally is 22.84%. And another one I look at is this margin here. See the margin for UMC and Ally Finance, 38% and 25%. And they are actually making profit and making earnings 18% and 22%. And also growing. And the PE is 6.93 and 7.71. All right, guys. That's all for today. If you have any questions, put them down on the comment. And um, I hope you guys were able to learn something valuable from this video. And before you guys leave, make sure to press like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in my next video. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.